Okay, so hi everyone, thank you very much for watching or listening. Liam Hartley here today with another episode of Presenting Champions for the Simply Inspired channel. Today joined by a very, very special guest. I'm truly honoured to have this man on the show today and he's made the time for this. Today's guest, Anvar Nazarov, legendary professional kickboxer who has competed uh, against many of the biggest names in the world for many of the largest organizations in the world. He's very well known for competing extensively in glory kickboxing, uh, but he's also competed in the Lumpenese Stadium as well. Uh, as I mentioned, he's fought many of the biggest and the best, but as well as kickboxing, um, Avna has also competed in MMA for Legacy Fighting Alliance, Dana White's Contender Series, and others. Um, I believe has recently competed in boxing as well, briefly, uh, although mainly known for kickboxing. So. Um, I hope I've got this right, but I think it's 124 professional fights that he has competed in so far. It might be more um, against many of the best names, and obviously that is in the Muay Thai style and in uh, the more Western style as well. So before we get into anything else, Champ, once again, thank you so much for coming on the show, and thank you for uh, taking time out of your day to do this, basically. It's, it's a pleasure. Yes, thank you for having us. Very welcome, and hopefully, yes, hopefully I haven't missed anything in that uh, in that introduction because you have accomplished um, so much. Now, starting with the present day, um, as I mentioned, and then working um, backwards in time, effectively, I, I think we'll do it that way. So, so starting with your life at the moment, as I understand it, you train uh, primarily in Florida, in Orlando, Florida, but you also travel uh, to train and compete. So can you walk, walk us through a little bit about your uh, your regime, if you like, and uh, what you're doing uh, right now to compete at the highest level? That's let's start there, please. Yes, uh, you, you know what? Uh, when I start when I start Muay Thai, I was 20 years old, and uh, in five years I made 100 100 pro Muay Thai fight in Thailand, and I, I switched to kickboxing and I. I, I fight a few times for a global kickboxing title and uh, biggest uh, few biggest uh, kickboxing events in the world. And I did few uh, pro boxing and I fight in the uh, I fight everywhere. I fight in prison in Thailand. I fight Latvia in Burma. Uh, all kind of this fighting martial arts and I, uh, finally end up end up with the MMA. MMA today, and I'm a, I'm a, uh, when I started MMA, I was already like so 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 years old, and like of course, no one gonna believe in you because I have no uh, grappling or whatever background, and uh, but in, I just you know uh, just you know because uh, what is I get motivation uh, is a uh, Mm, just be, believe in myself and to, to shock to shock the world you know to do something different and uh, of course it's not easy you now because my body already I, I fight all, all my life I was fighting stand up and you know no, no, no flexible uncomfortable grappling underground uh, games and I just put myself in all uh, uh, uncomfortable uh, position, everything, and keep pushing. What I believe in, in the last three years, I I had uh, too, too many injuries. My shoulder, my arm broken. It took it took time to recovery back. You know, and my age going on, and is of course there's a the recovery on the take time. Not, no, no more. Uh, it's healing is gonna be slower. But the thing is, uh, the fire. You know, uh, what 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 I what I believe for and what I'm focusing for. And age, and what I'm realizing, and age is just number. You know, it's all about uh, your motivation. It's all about uh, how, how, what, what, you, who you wanna be in the life. In, in the, uh, so yeah. So I'm, I'm in Florida right now because uh, in, in US, uh, this is uh, 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 is uh, all the uh, biggest MMA events in here in US and uh, more biggest gyms, training training partners, all high level training partners. Uh, and I train with uh, in the, in the Miami uh, American top ten with all high level fighters over there. I start MMA and uh, Sanford in, in in Miami Sanford. Uh, there's also all high level fighters, and I, I get all experience and knowledge. Uh, now I'm a final. I'm in the in the Orlando, Florida, and I'm trying to build my own team and to to forward for Fuji, and focusing on MMA. 
my last fight uh, was in Dana White Contender Series. But uh, yeah, things, you know, the thing is in this job, you know, uh, things doesn't work like you want all the time, you know, you cannot win, win, win all the time. It's just uh, in the history, it's just sometimes happen, you know. I mean, for example, Habib Nurmagomedov all the world now is because he never lost. Because only he's the one, you know, not everyone can be like this, you know, not everyone destiny like, you know, we all born with different destiny. This we need to accept, we, we must understand this. That's why we must create own way, own way, own own path, own goal, own uh, the plans, and then is the work. And so, uh, but I learned, you know, in my in my career, kickboxing, Muay Thai career, I lost a lot. That's why I become a, I can I, I I do something. Uh, first, when I came to Thailand, I was 20, and you know, I already I'm a, is already in Muay Thai fighters in in Thailand, 20, 25, they already retired, you know, they already finished fighting. Because they start from six, seven years old, and everyone telling me, even my parents, "Hey, Anwar, you're already the old man. You know what are you gonna do? You know, and, uh, all, my, my coach saying, Anwar, don't do this. You know, don't go to Thailand because they are already 20 years old. You're 20 years old, and you you wanna start pro pro Muay Thai fight over there. And the guys uh, in your age in in Thailand, they're already the champion. You know, this. So yeah, this is so in the thing is, but you know, it's all about what you believe in. Just keep pushing, uh, motivate yourself, and uh because this is a truth one we one thing we must understand no one gonna believe in you you know no one gonna support you uh only is you and the in the end uh, you and you you just need to push yourself and you cannot tell you cannot you, you don't you need to prove yourself uh i need i try to prove myself to myself and i start this this job not to make my money not become get to, to reach to, to become famous just to prove something to myself that, uh, what are my heart telling to me? Uh, yes, man. That's why I'm I'm here right now, and I'm keep pushing because I wanna do what I I can st stay in the kickboxing Muay Thai and, and return like a legend or whatever. You know, I can keep keep, keep fighting today. Also, you know, when I start uh, Muay Thai in this time, only we all try to fight in Japan K1 because there's not other big promotion in the world. Only in in Thailand, I came to Thailand 2010. In all, we all for foreign fighters, we know each other. Oh, this Alex come from UK. Oh, Anwar came from this. This guy is come from this. Only few fighters. Uh, today, wow! I, like yesterday I've been in Thailand. I say <laughs> there is like a million fighters. You know, big challenge and so many promotion. You know, we, our dream this time. We, I remember my, me and my friends, all foreign guys. Our dream like a big promotion, like one championship, a glory kickboxing. There's today, look, today we have so many promotions, big promotions around the world. If you go there in UK, you go to Dubai, you go there, you US, you go to Asia, China, Japan, Muay Thai kickboxing take hours of work, you know, everywhere big promotions, everything. But uh, I try my best. I try, uh, I try what I, uh, my best in, uh, in striking world. And uh, today I changed to, I, I switched to MMA. Uh, to to do for myself, you know, to big thing, to what I can, uh, to because I believe my powers, my my uh, my uh, uh, talent is unlimited, unlimited. I can I can if I push myself, I can I can do what I want. This I want to prove myself. Incredible. I mean, it's a wonderful description of so many things there. But what I love about this most is with everything you just said, there's some wonderful life lessons um, contained within that talk that people can um, pick up on. And I'll say to our audience as well that people can use those life lessons for any area of life. You know, it, it doesn't have to be sport. Uh, it can be sport, but it can be something completely different, anything you want to achieve. So thank you for um, the, the motivational aspect and, uh, and getting that in. Um, you know straight away obviously there's a lot to talk about with your your fighting career uh, obviously the amount of kickboxing uh fights you've had or the Mai Thai fight specifically but also the glory style but you you mentioned something there at the beginning i think i heard you correctly that you've also competed in left way as well um did i did i hear that correctly because i must admit champ i was not aware of that even though i know of your mma journey i know of um, a lot about your kickboxing journey, and I've seen many of your fights. I must admit that the left way side of things was not uh, was not something I was aware of. 
So you're obviously inspired to um, to test yourself in, in many different um, combat sports styles. So can you share with us a little bit about the, the Lethway fight? Um, this wasn't uh, my original plan, but you just you mentioned it, and I think it's a source of fascination uh, to so many people around the world because it's such a, a beautiful, uh, well, it's brutal, but it's also beautiful in the, the amount of skill that uh, takes place to go into it. So I know we're going back in time a little bit. Do you mind sharing a little bit about that side of things, please? Yes. Uh, uh, it was La Latvia. I have uh, two Latvia fights in my career. And uh, it was supposed of, uh, I fight five rounds. And, uh, you know, if you in the Latvia, if you not finish the opponent, you finish up draft. So I fight two Latvia and it was draft. I fight five rounds. And like, yeah, with no gloves, uh, you can do headbutt, you know, we kill each other like five rounds. You cannot back up, you know, the culture because, of, you know, the uh, Latvia culture. So, uh, yeah, it was, I think, two, two, 2013 or 2012. And you know, I had I had like a 20 or 20, 20 Muay Thai fight. And then I, I tried I try Latvia um, because just I, I wanted to something. I want to test myself something different, you know, for my body. In professional sport, this is important. Uh, not how hard you can hit, but how hard you can get it and and uh, get back. You can stand up for this. So, is that way? World was for me. It's, yeah, it's, it was crazy. You know, it was. Uh, it's 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 scary. You know, a bit honest. It's uh, it's not job. I can. I remember. I came back home uh, after fight five round, and my friend saying, "Oh, Anwar, what happened? You get a motorbike accident because you know I." I break my nose, my my uh, so much injured, my arm, everything. Yeah, it's almost you putting yourself a big risk, you know. Uh, but yeah, how we do, you know? This is a this is a this is a, a professional uh, fighting life, you know. You you must face uh, everything. Uh, this is how you become a champion. This is how you become a, you go to top, you know. If you keep uh, wasting your time, if you keep uh, Keep saving your body from injury, from this. If you're not taking risk, you're gonna be nobody. So just try in who you wanna be in the sport. You must take a big risk. You know, you must try yourself. You you must try your body. Don't worry about losing. You know, the thing is today problem to the young generation. People worrying about losing. You know, I come to I come to MMA. Now I realize last my three years i just make three fights because of uh, i get hard to get some opponents because i understand mma mean, world is different than muay thai kickboxing or that way because the guys make uh, maybe like a five ten ten and oh and they worry to lose they want to keep going but no this is wrong for my opponent because you cannot win all your life you know you must lose to know how to win sometimes you must lose to know how to win you must feel every pain of in this job. You, you must get, you must get injured. You must get loose. You must get knocked down. You must, but the thing is, get back. You never give up. You cannot stop this. You must try, 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 try again. Then you can have success. Absolutely, and I must admit, you know, your your career is um, a testament to that to that lesson. You know, um, because you always uh you always push the limits you know as i mentioned at the beginning you're always fighting the best people um traveling around different locations trying different styles now in a moment um we will look back um a little bit more at, at a few other key fights but before we do um let's look forward for a moment because you're very passionate about the mma i can tell this is something that's lighting the fire inside of you type of thing. So um, what are your your plans and your dreams and your goals? Because already we've spoken a bit about um, so many things that you have accomplished before, but you, you have this fire inside of you to accomplish something in, in MMA. So the contender series, Dana White's contender series was the last fight. Uh, where do you plan to, to proceed from here um, in the MMA world? Uh, you know, to be honest, uh, it was, uh, you know, life, life bring me my destiny, you know, I can say, because uh, it was pandemic, you know, when I come to US, I came for a global kickboxing fight and I just, uh, pandemic happened, you know, and all the world shut down, there's nothing going on. 
but my job is I was born for fighting, you know, for warrior and what I'm going to do. And I see just every event is, uh, is close. Only there's only MMA going on, you know, only UFC, a few promotions, MMA only. Then I said, okay, then this is a way, you know, then this is a life bring me to this way. Then why not? I want to try this, you know, and I just go to MMA gym and I start start grappling, start other stuff, and I just get my first fight, you know, and I win. And I, when I go to the cage, I feel like, wow, you know, I fight Latvia, I fight boxing, I fight Muay Thai kickboxing. And this is a different feeling, you know, I feel like more natural in MMA cage. I feel more natural and I, I, I can, I, my, when I rock my, when I rock my opponent, I can go finish him. But in the boxing, kickboxing, other sport is not. The referee is stop and give him time, give it counts, and he can go, go on again. But in MMA is not, it's more natural fighting. You know, I mean, you can grapple, you can box, you can kick, you can do anything. So this, I, I feel, I feel, I feel more natural. And I feel like, oh, this is my home. You know, I, I feel like this, this, I find myself and I want to do this more. And how, how it's come, come to bring me to MMA and want to keep going. And I make it a few fights. So, and then in the contender uh, asked me for, and I said, I took the opp uh, opportunity because the, it was even big, big class, uh, big weight class for, uh, they just asked me and I, I just show up, you know, it, it was it's not, not my weight class. So I, I work, I work around this weight and just, I just go to weigh in, make weigh in and just show up just, you know, and, but, but it's okay. Things doesn't work like how, how I want. And it means still I'm a new in the you know, this means it's that I need to push myself. I need to work harder. Then, uh, but the thing is what I understand, what I realize, then I can do this, you know, I was born for this and I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to prove to myself this, I can do this. Absolutely. Well, I love your passion for this um, and, you, and the power that you have inside of you to challenge yourself to um, compete in these different goals and it, it is an amazing thing. Now, obviously, we will come back to um, some more motivational points shortly. But people do want to hear about the fights as well. Now, a question I have for you, and it's, it's a pretty big question, um, is about your, your proudest moments. Now, where we go with this, um, I don't mind because there's so much. I mean, there's obviously uh, many glory events you've competed on. There's the, the Lumpany Stadium. There's um, competing all over the world. There's, you know, there's so many different things um, that come into this. Obviously, the, the Muay Thai side of things is, is perhaps the most extensive. But um, when you look back on your career and, and everything you have achieved, are there particular fights that stand out for you as being the most special or you know, your personal favorites and, and that type of thing out of so many, you know, I mean, 124, uh, I think, in, in kickboxing. Which ones stand out to you the most as being the most special and, and why those? If you wouldn't mind sharing that, please. Yeah, uh, you know what? And from 2010 to 2015, I made 100 pro Muay Thai fight. And I remember I used to fight every week in China, you know, because every week, sometimes I, I fight one month, five times. So I have a, I have a, uh, in, in the Phuket, a uh, few stadion, even there's no weight class. And I was fighting for big guys, sometimes like my size, sometimes smaller, whatever, just keep fighting, you know, win, lose. That's why I made like 100 fights in five years. And, and I have a, like a 24 lo lo uh, loss in my career. Uh, if I first, when I started, things, uh, things doesn't work like a one, you know, I, it's not gonna be win, win, win. I start from few win in loss, few win. Every time when I lost and I, I come back to gym and I work harder, you know, I work harder and I put the discipline, I put, I focus. This, I, I come back stronger, I, I come back special. And, but yeah, I, I did. I had uh, so many tournaments. You know, I, I always. I when I remember about my uh, striking career, I fight four men tournament in eight men tournament, and sometimes uh, I remember in China there was so, sorry two men tournament. It's like a, it's happening in one year. So you one night you fight only four men tournament, you win, you go next next one, you fight one uh, again another tournament, you go for final. So. Uh, thing is, was yeah, of course, this is a fighting life is, is not easy. Like, uh, and uh, always you must sacrifice so many things, you know, in the training. And is a hard, hard thing is training camp, you know, training camp and traveling every time you go for different country, different culture, different language, 
and different uh, atmosphere, every, everything, you know, weather, uh, just why, you know, you, sometimes, you, you know, things like doesn't work and sometimes maybe you get sick, you, you lost the fight or whatever. So everyone only, the fight fans see you only in the ring. No one knows how you come there, you know, what, what happened behind, or what happened, how you deal with your lifestyle, you know, because uh, we all living in this dunya, we have a different culture, different language, we all come from somewhere and we all have our own problems, uh, family problems, so it's emotional, you know, emotional, uh, physical, it's a is a hard work. Is just why only uh, only one person can be champion. You know, the, uh, there is like in my weight class maybe two three million challenge, but only one person can be champion. Who can be patient, right? Who can pass this all test? You have a mental strong, you physical strong. Uh, there's million of people they they stronger than me. You know, they stronger than us. But but they maybe they they have a, they have no right to sacrifice you know they 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 all trying to get there but they 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 can have so many excuses you know first thing I think I, I have I, I try to do no excuse anything I have a, I have injured I keep training I get sick but I keep training I keep pushing myself you know I try even I win or lose I, I don't waste my time I show up the fight you know and I show up the promotion I put my word. And I win or lose, I show up. Then uh, I learn something. I learn, but maybe it, it's bring me something negative for my life, for my career. But to, to look look bad, maybe I, I lost bad, maybe. But but it, this is a give me more big motivation to 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 come back better for next time. And but yes, every fight, every single fight I remember in my life, every single fight, it was not easy. It was no easy to get there. First thing, I have a fight, for example, in six weeks. But the thing is to get there, you know, to get to right preparation, to get right training, uh, everything, right mealing. What well, you need to sleep on time, you need to eat on time, training, everything. Sometimes you're good, you're healthy. Maybe your training partners doesn't show up. Maybe your coach gets sick. You know, there are so many issues in in this job, but. This is a just, you know, if I can say it's, it's, it can be excused, you know, it's not going to be a reason to my fight uh, not happening. But I, I must show up to my place in the gym where, where I am and do my best and just show up to the fight, you know, and the results is going to happen. What is it this? And the, the thing is, I, I will learn something and I can be better, I can be smart for next training camp, for next fight. So yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember my biggest career, uh, biggest win in my life in glory kick, boxing in the France is uh, against Muay Thai legend uh, Fabio Pinka. Because why I'm saying about it, Fabio Pinka was my. Uh, I'm fan for this guy. You know, when I when I when I come to Thailand 2010, and one I watch uh, this time first Thai fight, Thai fight happening, and I watch on the TV. And uh, I'm, I'm a beginner, right, in Muay Thai. And one guy, one foreign guy, he just beat everybody in the, in the final. He just smashed the guy, you know, Thai guy. Thai guy is so strong, he's champion, he's Thai hero. But the guy, the foreign guy, he smashed the guy and the win, become a Thai fighter. I'm like, wow, I want to be like this guy, you know. I want to fight like him. I'm, from my heart, I'm like, wow, you know, good job, you know, real good job. I want to be like this guy. And every day I, I go, I, I watch his fights. Uh, after I training, I go back home and I, I start to watch his fight on the YouTube. And I learn, I come back next day, I come to gym and, and I try to fight like him. And I imagine, I, and when I, I, I work with heavy back and I like try to be like him. And after after seven years in glory, I sign up in glory boxing, asked me to fight with this guy. And I'm like, wow, you know, it's, I'm not thinking about the winning, losing. But this already, I, am, I have a big success to facing this champ, this legend, and uh, it was my dream, you know, to become a fighter like like him. And I'm 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 already his opponent. This is, I think is a big big uh, big winning in my life, and it was big exciting training camp. Everything I have a uh, whatever I did my best in the training camp, and I show up, and it was in the France, uh, in his hometown, his city, and when I go there. Uh, even uh, from airport, I, uh, we going to uh, driver, driver, driver saying, "Oh yeah, Fabio Pinka is very good." You know, like everyone, like all everyone focusing on him. You know, like 
Uh, I'm like, still, this is giving me motivation even, you know, like, yes, yes, you know, he is, of course, he is, you know, let's go, let's go. And it's time, so when I'm in the ring, you know, I'm, I'm facing this guy, you know, this guy is my, uh, like, a, I, 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 I was fun, fun, fun boy for this guy. And so I learned his, I learned his fighting every moment, you know, so I know in the ring, when I'm fighting with him, I, I know what he's going to do, you know, how he's going to do. I think this is how I win this guy. You know how how I, and I'm like boom, and I, I'm knocking him out. I'm like wow, you know. This I, I never I never forget this moment. I think in my life, this was my one of my special fights in my career. Incredible, absolutely incredible story, and uh, you know what they say: work hard until your idols become your rivals. I think is is a is a saying that I've seen on social media, and in this case that became true for you so uh, absolutely wonderful win and I do I do remember that you know that you were an underdog you were pretty much you know you were uh, I don't want to say written off but but as you say everyone was focusing on him and you proved them all wrong with that uh, so it's an amazing 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 achievement now um, another couple of things to, to touch on here as well um, that I'd like to, to give mention to um, one of the things I'd like to give mention to is as soon as we're talking about the process that you've been through with with us, when you were growing up and when you were obviously in, in your home country as Pakistan and you were um, you know training at a young age and I think your brother was was training first, wasn't he? And then you uh, followed him. But at that time, I'd like to go back and 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 talk about what you believed. Like if you believed you would come as far as you have come now back then and it's almost like it might sound strange but it's almost like you're talking to your younger self type of thing of you know what you believe then versus how far you've come now and everything you've achieved all over the world uh if, if that makes sense so um let's talk about that a little bit please if, if that's yeah, all right uh, yes uh, i was born in uzbekistan in samarkand city and uh, i grew up in the mountain and uh, first, I start when I'm 12. Uh, our village, some guy she come and he said he gonna teach uh, taekwondo, taekwondo. And I, I try, I training taekwondo with this guy, but I, st I study a lot and I study a lot. I study history, and like today, how uh, how we become a, uh, some guy watch like Spider Man and try to be like a Spider Man, right? Some people watch like Batman and become a Batman. Some, uh, so I was, I was, uh, I think when I'm, I, I mean, when I was young age, in this time we don't have much technology. You now we don't have a YouTube, we don't have a internet. Even where I grow up, we don't have a cell phone. We have no computer, and even sometimes uh, if some uh, big fights happen, even not, not all have a TV in my village. And some, I remember when Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson was fighting. And we all go to some some house and watch uh, watch the fight. You know, happen. And I come back home. I want to I, I, I want to be like Mike Tyson. You know, in my imagination. And of of course, you know, no no one gonna believe in you. No one gonna is no way. You know, you're gonna be you're gonna go and train boxing or whatever, and become a world champion. So you know, and in this I finish the school, but I train myself. And I, every time I come back home, when I run or train, do something, and I. My imagination all the time. I, I I raise my hands and I imagine I'm like a big stage. You know, I don't know where, which which maybe boxing, maybe kickboxing, Muay Thai. No idea, but this big stage, you know, big event. And I win the fight, and I'm like, wow, I'm like a champion. I feel this, you know, every day, every day. I used I wake up every morning, you know, and I go for a run. I go for a run, and I I used to do this. I keep imagining, you know. I finish the college. I go to college. Every morning I wake up because I was a little skinny guy and I and uh, I feel I feel a little shame, you know. So I, I wake up at uh, 5 a.m. and I, I, I go for a run because I, I want it still dark. No one saw me. No one see me. You know? So no one can find out me. And I go for a run, uh, but only inside, something inside. And what you can do, you can do, you know, just some fire because there's uh, there's you cannot see everything is dark you know there's no in my in my country there's no professional sport in this time there's not nobody done before me if i can follow them you know if, if there's no youtube internet if i can watch and get some information only this time uh, k1 happening in the japan so we can buy the cd and uh, just put in a dvd and watch some few 
K1 fights like Ibuakal, Satom, uh, some, some, you know, something these guys, you know, 2002, 2005, in these years. But I, I watched these guys and I tried to be like him. And after I watched Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, and I watched movies like Bruce Lee, these things in, 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 in this time, uh, we, we try to be in my imagination. And I, sometimes I go, uh, just whatever shadow boxing I do, you know, just I try to, I try to be like Mike Tyson. Tomorrow I try to be like Bruce Lee. Tomorrow I try to be my, I try to talk myself like Muhammad Ali, you know. And I remember I, when I call this time, I, 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 re, I leave my apartment and I watch the movie uh, on, uh, on Bank, on Bank, the Tony Jack, Tony Jack is in Thai movie. And he has a beautiful flying knees. He show, and I'm, I'm like, wow, you know, I want to be like him, you know, this guy. And I keep doing flying knee every night. I go study, come back, and I keep doing flying knee, flying knee. But you see, in my imagination, I'm in a big, big event where I'm, a, I'm knocking out guys flying knee. But is we don't, I don't know where it's gonna be happen, when it's gonna be happen. But I keep dreaming about it. I keep putting my heart, my mind. I keep imagining about it. I keep putting myself there. And after after years, after ten years, is is happened in the Thai fight in the Thailand in the Bangkok, you know, in the big stage, in the biggest Muay Thai event in the Thailand. And I, I knock out the guy with flying knee. It was perfectly those moment. And I'm like, wow, only I understand this time, you know, because I was working for this last 10 years. I was keeping imagination. I was keep putting myself in this moment, but no one can see this, only me. I, and I'm like, wow. And I'm, I'm, I was crying, you know, but I cannot explain to nobody. You know, I cannot talk to nobody because only I know what happened because, because no one believe in me because everyone tells you what, what, what they can or what they cannot. So this was in, before, before I come to Thailand, it was not easy for me from where I born and where I grew up because different lifestyle, different culture, um, there's no pro fighting. There's nobody, people don't, doesn't accept you uh, fight, fighting, uh, fighting a job. Even I come to Thailand, I didn't know I can make money from fighting. I just I just try to uh, prove something for myself. This what I from my young age to in my imagination to my dreams to to put in action. This is it. I wanted to put it in action in the Muay Thai world and do do this what I imagination what I was working and on the dark and I try to put in the action and I, I try to test myself. That's why when I come to Thailand I'm like wow I want to fight I want to fight I fight one boom I knock him out like wow I can do this. Boom, next fight, boom, that come. And in the end, today I have a 54 KO in my career. And I, I finished guys 54 times in 100, 130 fights. So because it's all uh, from uh, preparation, from all the, from young age, uh, imagine, imagination, the dreaming, but uh, for, uh, sacrificing things. Because and I remember uh, this time I can I can go I can go uh, do things like my friends tennis friends I can enjoy my life I can do I can do other stuff uh, but I'm not I come back home I just don't waste my time and I keep I keep practicing I keep practicing and I keep uh, dreaming about it I keep focusing and keep planning but it takes years but I keep planning every time I keep I said no one day I will go to Thailand. I will fight Muay Thai. I'll be professional Muay Thai fighter. I'm going to do this. I will try this in the ring. That's why I have to be ready now. Uh, this is how, how is everything started. And uh, this was, but my young age was not easy. Of course, I was born in the very, where I live is very tough, tough life. You know, it's not easy. And it's not what easy to get to Thailand. And after my life in Thailand, you know, in Muay Thai life is just, you know, no, you can't make no money. His living was hard in foraging country, different language, different mentality, different culture. But yes, how we do, you know, just only uh, all about uh, to believe yourself and just keep pushing yourself what you believe and you will get success. You know, this is my experience. It's an amazing story yet again. It's incredible because it really shows um, the way that you sort of planted the seeds of your success, you know, sim symbolically and uh, and, it, and it came true. It's a very powerful lesson, uh, visualization, you know, imagining things as if they are real, putting in the practice to make them happen. Uh, it's very interesting because um, a few champions have, have told me this, 
but obviously enjoying the process um, of the journey. I mean, there's so many things in what you say. It's like um, there's so much knowledge contained, you know, and, and even though we're hearing about the fights and everything, the knowledge is, is a wonderful thing. So thank you for, for sharing everything you have shared so far. Um, moving into the last couple of things now, uh, because um, just so you know, I, I'm aiming for this to be about like an hour or so, you know, but beyond that, it's usually too much for, for people's attention. Uh, so we, you know, we, we aim for that roughly, you know. But so the last couple of things um, now, obviously, um, one of the things that I think illustrates your success is, um, I, and I think this is inspiring for, for young um, people, young athletes and, and people who want to achieve a dream is obviously um, the kickboxing and fighting has taken you all over the world and the reason I bring this up is, is you've obviously um, fought many people in their own uh, well in their own backyards shall we say or in you know in foreign countries do you have a favorite place that the fight world has taken you like a favorite country that you've been to where you know you've had a very warm welcome um, from them or where the crowd has been uh, particularly supportive or whatever because <coughs> excuse me uh, because you mentioned uh, France and you mentioned that uh, obviously everyone was focused on on the other guy but um, places you've been that you have enjoyed that have been very special to you which ones stand out in your mind for that please uh, it was in, in the China to be honest I never have uh about any experience about China, China, and when I start to fight in China, and I become in uh, every time I enter to China, people uh, like remember in, in Thailand, of course, Thailand become my second home, and every time I go to Thailand, like I walk straight, sometimes people look at me, oh yes, this is Anwar, this is this guy is uh, Nakamura, and I know you, I know you, you, you they show me you, you, can, oh, you have power like speak with Thai language, and it's yeah, it's give give you of course you know it's uh, sometimes it's give me something uh, good feeling about it so it mean i did something in, in this job in this uh, this in Muay Thai world uh in in the france too in the france same in uh, france uh, second time when i go france then uh, maybe only uh, who knows uh, key boxing muay thai they they know and they they give you good good welcome uh and all, uh, all, uh, all my, uh, all my Soviet Union countries, all, uh, all countries uh, where I, wherever I go, everybody give, give some respect. Uh, I think it's all about what I, what I have done in the, this, this, this sport. And uh, I always, I try to uh, share my, my knowledge, my experience with this all young generation, uh, all this uh, Muay boxing fans. Uh, and now I'm MMA and I'm still new and yeah, but I'm, I have, I want to do another 10 more years. I'm a story, sorry, three years old now, but I feel like uh, last, last 13 years, I just learned something, you know, I become a, I become a fighter now and I want to put in the action what I learned in striking world. And, uh, now my ground, ground game getting stronger and I just want to shock the world, you know, what I, what I can do. And, and just leave my legacy, you know. This I, I know this I just this I I was born for this, and I I will die for this. Absolutely, That's powerful uh, advice contained in there as well. Um, also, the other thing I'd like to to touch on here, um, uh, just thinking which order to do this in. Just because we're, because we're coming towards the end, just just very briefly at, on this one, just because I think people will find it very interesting. You mentioned at the beginning, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong with this, but you mentioned about a, like a prison fight or something in in Thailand. I think you mentioned this. Uh, this is this is this is sort of motivational, but it's more like something curious for people that you know people don't see inside this world. Um, much, you know, from, from the outside, obviously you, you hear about it, I've heard about it, like with um, certain people fighting in that, you know, David Duke and some of those guys, you know, in the prison fight. But for you, can you just share with us um, that story about the prison fight, just because it's something different and it's something... The thing is, there's so many fights I'd love to ask you about, you know, there's like, because even though 
we've talked about the, the Muay Thai, you know, there's obviously uh, several glory events you've been in in different places, like six or seven or however many it is, I think it's more, but, you know, so we, we won't have time for them all, you know, unfortunately, but we will have time maybe for a few, a few special ones. So the prison fight, please, in your own words, I think this would be a very cool story. Thank you. Prison, uh, prison fight. I was living in Bangkok this time, and some guy contacted me. Hey, Anwar, we need uh, some guy to fight in prison like you. You know, you look, you look <laughs> like a. Uh, and I said, okay, let's go. You know, what what I need to fight? He said, you fight Muay Thai with a prison guy. You know, and who's going is gonna be in in the in the prison in the Thai prison? I said, yeah, let's go. Is uh, in uh, they, they give me that, and I show up the show up the location, and. Mm, yeah, it was it was uh, it was like a war. It was scary it's, and because so many fighters they back up, you know. They ask the promoters, they asking, they asking so many fighters, but they don't want to do this. And I said, yeah, let's go. I want to do this. I want to see what's going on, you know, in the prison and how this this fighters uh, fighters life in the prison. Why they fight for, and, and and they explain everything, you know. This guy is fighting for freedom, you know. They're fighting for freedom and uh, the trainings here, and I just want to see everything, you know, the fighters' life. And and I we go there, we enter to the prison, you know, it was it was like everything. Uh, uh, look, 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 uh, look. Uh, how I can say it's it's yeah, it's like real prison. You I enter, there's all prisoners, you know, and uh, I, they they were training, you know, and and they said in the in the in the last minute in this Anwar now now you wanna you need to fight boxing, you know, this is, and I said oh. oh. I never fight boxing in my life. And I said, okay, let's go. And I see my opponent, he was like shut up boxing, like, you know, like a, like a pro fighter. You know? <laughs> There's so many tattoos, the guy, like uh, aggressive guy. And I said, yeah, let's go, you know, like, I want to fight this. I have to fight, I want to fight, I want to fight this guy. And uh, yeah, we, we, it's gonna be four, four, four or six, five, six round uh, fight. And I remember I, I win the fight, fight decision. And uh, it, it was a good fight because I think I rocked the guy and uh, after uh, how I win him. And uh, but my experience about the prison fight in Thailand, uh, it's uh, the fighters, you know, they, 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 they are sitting 20, 30 years and they, they're hoping, you know, they're training, they're training for next, next, next coming up fight for, to, to fight for freedom. So they can show something special and they can have they can have opportunity to get freedom that's why they're fighting for right and i'm uh, we're going to there to to challenge these guys and we was uh, uh, my friends a few 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 fighters over there uh, and we all have we all have a very very I, I believe we all have a very expensive very very good experience about this 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 moment you know in the in the thailand in thai prison and uh, fighting some you know some local guy thai guy and he he fighting for his life he fighting for his freedom and but you know what this is the thing is this there's no mercy in the ring when you, you can be a nice guy also the ring you can be friend with everybody but when you go to the ring you know when or you go to cage when doors close when the referees you fight you know there's different world you know you want it you don't want it you you need to fight for your life you know it's not about you going for uh, you going to freedom or you going no not about you fight you going to win or lose no you must you must save yourself is not not this is a different word is ring to fight in the ring so many guys they come to the gym they train like a world champion but when they go to, they're not only going to fight they when they, when they go to fight when the referees fight they change someone get freezing you know someone can, can cannot fight someone give up easy but just this is what I'm talking about, you know. So how how I how I uh, win round in round finish, you know, and, uh, and I, I win the fight. Yeah, I feel I feel sorry about this guy, but you know, it is because I, I must save my life too, and I must uh, protect my 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 things. So yeah, this was my experience about uh, fighting fighting life, and this is how we all uh, fight for. I think. Absolutely, yeah. As another wonderful lesson there as well. So it's uh, it's wonderful. There's been so much contained, and it's 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 wonderful with this talk because there's been so much contained within this talk, and we've touched on some key fights. And I know that, like I keep saying, you know, there's more, and there's the Lumpenly Stadium, and there's this and there's that. But hopefully, you know, we've touched on some of the very key ones while sharing some 
uh, some very powerful wisdom. So the last two questions um, of of this event, and then we will wrap this up because you know you've got things to do, I've got things to do, and it's enough for people to sort of absorb, you know, with with an hour. So the second to last question, um, the spiritual aspect of of martial arts. I know this is a little bit as a little bit abstract, but obviously with um, the Muay Thai and that side of things, there's, there's a strong um, spiritual culture of self-improvement and, and there's, there's a lot of tradition and uh, things of that nature. Um, are you uh, a spiritual person? Do you believe in that side of, um, of martial arts and its improvement of people? I know this, this is a little bit abstract, but just something I wanted to ask you uh, because you, you mentioned that you've learned many lessons um, from your career and this is a powerful process because it's, it shows people not to aim for the destination but to enjoy the process of continually developing. Um, but just your thoughts on on spirituality and that side of, of the fight game please. Yes, uh, I think we all we all have this psychology. Uh, today uh, it is uh, today is happening. So many fighters uh, they choose they choose this way maybe to become famous to to prove something to somebody to maybe family to friends to or to country whatever uh, to become a rich or famous. Uh, this this was the goal today. But when I started. Uh, I didn't. I didn't show even my training to somebody. I was. I was always. I was not. Uh, I was not okay with what I. What I'm doing. I. I mean, uh, I was sh kind of shy because I'm not good enough. I feel like that's why I tried to just prove for myself and to challenge myself to get better. And to, from yesterday, today, uh, when I go to the gym, I don't. I don't even. I don't. When I'm training, I never look to somebody. Uh, to who, who watching me, but I was I was always focusing on myself till the end to to get to do better better, better than yesterday. This way, this thing is make me bring me to the top. But yes, it is psychology. We first we want it, we don't want it. Like you said, some country when I go, it's like oh Anwar, you know this guy is a good fighter. This is uh, this feeling is good sometimes. You like it. But this is make you lazy sometimes. You know what I realize my experience sometimes. This is make you lazy. This is make you to uh, go slower. That's why uh, I, I think I pass from this moment. Now I try to ignore whatever this is happening my, myself. That's why it's like like you said. Uh, maybe it's become, it's become how is the culture where I come from. Maybe I have a blood uh, fighter blood. My my history. Maybe I I read so much books like history books. Uh, uh, to to become a, like a one of a powerful man in the world, uh, to to my goal is is not about to prove something to others or to, to control some power. No, it's all about myself. It's all about myself to prove myself to become a one of powerful men in the world in the fighting in the in the martial arts. That's why I keep switching I, from Muay Thai come to kickboxing. From kickboxing, I do some um, boxing fights from what way in the prison fight. And now I'm a final in the MMA. I should, if I want to be, I want to prove something to others. I want to be famous. I want to do something. I, I should stay in the Muay Thai. Or I should stay in the kickboxing and keep doing, keep doing and stay, uh, retain from the like legend or whatever, to leave my legacy. But, but it's not, it's not enough for me, for, for what I believe and what, for what, what my limits. That's why I try to. I want to prove for myself what I can do. My limits is unlimited. I can do more. Uh, it was not enough for me what I do in Muay Thai kickboxing. That's why I feel like today I learn. I learn in Muay Thai kickboxing world. Now I want to put in action in MMA. This is what I know. This is a. My goal is become a yeah become a UFC world champion, and and and, and I will say from there. Maybe I I will, I will try boxing out different thing again. <laughs> This is my goal, and just just my plan and my goal. Just yeah, as I said, to become a better better person, better man, better fighter from yesterday. So just why I try to uh, wake up and start from my day to do things better things from yesterday to become a better person to, for myself. This is my goal. This is my plan. An incredible lesson. Um, we only compete against ourselves at the end of the day. 
And the last thing, um, because I don't want to, to take up too much of your time, the last one is it's only a small one. Um, when I do these interviews, I usually finish with um, with a thank you. So obviously, I thank you for your time uh, very much. Is there anyone out there that you would like to, to thank or, you know, even if we, we say to your fans and your supporters um, out there in the world, anywhere in the world, uh, who are watching this or listening to this, people who encourage you, people who have helped you in any way. The reason I bring this up is there is um, so many people behind the scenes, let's put it that way, who are doing work to help fighters, to help athletes, and they're unseen uh, in many cases. So really, I just give this opportunity. Is there anyone you would like to thank? Um, and then after that, you know, we, we wrap, we'll wrap this up because it's been a, a fantastic, really, really fantastic talk. Uh -huh. Uh, you know what, to be honest, uh, yeah, I want to thank myself, you know, I want to thank myself, I never give up, thank myself, I keep pushing, and, you know, thank, I want to thank myself to believe in me, and, you know, I never give up, because uh, when I started, even my parents doesn't even believe in me, you know, everyone just, no one, no one believe in me, in same, in, in right now in MMA world, uh, you know, is today so many young generations they talk about oh I have no uh, so many excuses I have this I have no gloves I have no this I'm not wrong place I'm not in, I'm not in Thailand I'm not there uh, I, I have a, this I don't have sponsor I don't have no this is a wrong that's why I have uh, what I started I start from nothing and I come from very small country there's you know I I'm telling you there's no in this time was nothing no technology nothing no idea about I, I not speak no language, only my Uzbek language, and I come to Thailand, take big risk. Only uh, myself it was. There's no sponsor, no one, even no one told me the right direction. Oh, I know you must go to this, yeah, this gym, you need to train there. Yeah, no, I just come to Bangkok and I go to find Muay Thai gym and from, I start from there. So I want to say thank myself and I want to thank God, uh, give me this decision, this, this, this destiny, this lifestyle. Uh, yeah, this is today in to my all uh, all young generation. What I cannot say, just believe in yourself. Now, if you have really you have a fire in your heart, just believe in yourself and put in action. You know, work hard. It's not gonna work like you want, but you need to accept this. You cannot give up. You, know, you must try again. Maybe you lost. No problem. You must try again. Now keep pushing. No one gonna believe in you. People are gonna put you down. People are gonna tell you stop. Do other job. No. Do for yourself, challenge yourself, be better tomorrow from yesterday. This is how you're going to win. This is how you're going to success in anything in this life. That's why I want to thank myself you know, to my character and just never stop, you know, never give up. When I'm injured, when I'm, when, I, when I'm down, you know, everyone put me down, even my parents, everyone. Keep saying, change your job, do this, do this. But it's not. That's you know? why I want to say thank myself to me to never quit, never stop. Never, never give up. This I can say to you. Well, it's very powerful, amazing wisdom, as there has been through the entire call. Um, Champ, I'd like to say once again, thank you so much for making the time for this uh, today, you know, taking time out of your busy schedule. Um, thank you for sharing everything that you've shared and, and being so open um, about the lessons you've learned. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your time and your uh, invite. Best luck for your people. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the Simply Inspired YouTube channel and there will be more videos coming soon.